what was it like in the arena when all of a sudden the United States found themselves on the ropes against a marked underdog? Honestly, it was a little surprising because Lithuania is known for having really vocal fans, and there are actually a ton of Lithuanians in this area right near where the Olympics are being held. So I actually thought the atmosphere was going to be more raucous. The atmosphere turned out to be the least of the U.S.'s problems hmm. today. Uh, you know, as you guys alluded to, missed a ton of free throws, didn't shoot the ball well. But the biggest thing, the defense wasn't there, and that's what this team hangs its hat on their ability to create turnovers and shut other teams down. And uh, you know, they could not contain Lithuania, whether or not Sarunas Yesikevich is their veteran point guard was on the floor. So that's really the big concern for the U.S. Defensively, they weren't anywhere near the standard that we've seen really for the last seven, eight games out of these guys. Mark, what are the American coaches and players saying about Saturday's close call? Well, now that they've gotten through it, now that they've won, they're thrilled. They're saying it was great to be pushed and we needed a game like this. Obviously, it's not going to be like it was Thursday night where they're winning by 83 and every three-pointer is going down. But all those things are a lot easier to say when you've actually survived. Uh, when Lithuania took the lead in the third quarter, the U.S. reeled off seven quick points. And I think at that point, they probably thought, okay, we've got control of this thing. But they still weren't able to shake Lithuania. Even in the fourth quarter, we saw Clays that come up with a three and, and, and give Lithuania another late lead. So it's really not new. Lithuania has done this to the United States in the, in the Olympics four or five times now. They're one of the four countries that have beaten the United States in the Olympics. But uh, this is not the same strong Lithuania team that we've seen in recent years. They don't even have their most seasoned big man. Uh, you have Tokas, who's out with a foot injury. So uh, they weren't expected to push the U.S. like this. And it's a definite wake-up call.